we started out with an ambition to create a, an intentional community of Gaelic language learners. And um, we haven't wavered from that. Something that just seems to have connected and become natural about it. And when I talk to Gaelic speakers about it, they say, oh, oh, it's pulling you or something like that. Yeah, I use it every day. I try to read something every week. I make notes in my day book in Gaelic. Oh, we'd be very intense during the day with our Gaelic, and then at night we would dance on the roof. <laughs> We've got a very, very talented community with all of the, the fine musicians that we have. And I think this is one of the things that initially attracted me was, was um, all the great music and just, uh, just having fun together. part of my soul and then the, the Gaelic language and the poetry and the history that goes behind it um, uh, is just something to kind of feed your soul. After I heard the pipe bounds there, I said, okay, that's it. I've got to do this. I was just, I, I swallowed the hook all the way down, and yeah, I don't think that's ever going to come out. Question number six. Is your interest in Gaelic language separate from the other parts of your life? What other parts of my life? Or has it had any influence on the other parts? What other parts? Um, <laughs> that was a joke, but it's true. Um, I have, I don't have a lot of people in my life that are not somehow connected to the Gaelic world. So I can make a lot of rationalization about, you know, oh, it's the learning, oh, it's the travel, oh, it's the this, but, but really it, it feeds my soul in a very primal way. And that's really what, what makes me keep coming back. <laughs> Something about it that appeals to us at a very deep visceral level, it's extremely hard to explain. Three years I had two students two young women, and they were in their early teens, mid-teens. Uh, I was their foreign language teacher. Uh, they were homeschooled and brilliant, brilliant young women. And uh, I worked with them. They became fully conversant Gaelic speakers. I remember they came to uh, a Gaelic camp, one of the weekend intensives that we were doing at that time in Selena Gale. And as they were leaving, and their mother was standing there, I told them how how inspiring it was to our community to have people their age involved um, because we you know we're all grown-ups you know I got a couple gray hairs over here and we're thinking about what's gonna happen and one of them looked me square in the eye and said Gaelic will not die while I'm alive 
that and did it. Well, the cause um, is, is preserving the Gaelic language. Oh, yeah.